Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in love with how I look right now, okay? I don't care like how conceited or anything that sounds. I love this look. Combining two of my favourite ultra like aspirations is Barbie and mermaids. And if I could throw a unicorn in this too, then I would. But I thought this is enough. There is glitter, there is jewels, there is colours, there is boobness, even though... Yeah, I try my best for those. And this is a collaboration video, so I will link their video down below. They are doing a Arctic inspired mermaid, which I cannot wait to see, and I hope you guys enjoy that too. So I'll link it down here and here. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy my drag mermaid. If you do, please thumbs it up, it helps me out so much. Comment down below any other suggestions or any other makeup looks you want me to do, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I bring out new videos every single Monday, and more depending on how busy I am. And yeah, I really hope you like this look. I love it. So to start off this look, I started with my body and I went in with the chocolate body oil from the body shop and then used these two gold shimmering lotions to add a little bit of shimmer to my body. And then I popped in some bright blue contacts. To primer my skin, I went in with the W7 Anti Redness Primer and then the W7 Normal Primer. I then colour corrected with this W7 Anti Redness Pot. So for my foundation, I used the ELF HD Foundation and the UK website is working again, which brings me great joy. So I just pressed that into my skin to give me a nice flawless base and then went in with the Asia Rank Concealer just to hide any dark circles and help lift my face. I also then went in with the ELF HD foundation in a really dark rich brown shade to use it as my contour and to really warm up my skin and give it that really drag look. So I just used that to hit the normal contour points. And then once it was all blended out and I was happy with it, I set my face with the Coty Air Spun Powder. And then went in with the Stargazer Loose Powder in white to bake my highlight areas. I also then topped that with the ELF HD under eye powder just because that has a little bit more warmth so it wasn't as dark white. Since I wanted my mermaid to be tanned and so it's dark white under eye area was kind of ruined that illusion. I then primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I wanted to keep the eyes relatively simple so I just went in with the Natural Glow palette from Barry M and just took the bone shadow and ran that over the entirety of my eyelid and then took a nice kind of neutral toned brown and just run that through the crease remembering to wing it out on the edges to give it that dramatic drag look. And then took a much darker shade of brown and run that slightly lower in the crease and slightly lower on that kind of outer wing shape we're creating with the eyeshadow. I then went in with this nice dusty rose shade and just pressed that over the entirety of my eyelid. I then wanted to finish my eyeshadow with the Sun Kissed palette, which I absolutely freaking love. It's got everything you need in it. And I just took this really shimmery shade and just popped that on the very inner corner of my eye, as well as a brow bone highlight. I want to go for a really bright neon intense kind of eyeliner look. So I took this light blue grease paint and just did a really sharp wing with that. And then I set this with a MUA Pearl Shadow in shade 8, which is kind of like a blue shimmery kind of colour, which is just perfect for this look. And then I went in with my black gel liner and just did a very small wing, just to add a little bit of definition and help shape the eye. For my contour, I went in with the Honolulu bronzer from W7 and just ran that on the outer perimeter of my face and cheekbones. And then for a little bit of warmth and colour, I went in with their blush in Africa and then topped that with the Milani blush in Luminoso so our skin looked really glowy, mermaidy, and pretty. I wanted my skin to look really wet and highlighted and dewy so I went overboard with the Balm Mary Lou Luminizer and patted that on with my fingers on every single highlight point possible. And then for a little bit of smokiness, I went back in with the browns from that eyeshadow palette and just ran that on my lower lash line. I then went in and tightlined my lower lash line with a blue glitter eyeliner and then applied some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and then used this MUA Mascara in blue for my lower lashes just to pull the whole look together. For this look you can go with a blue lip which looked absolutely stunning but I wanted it to look more Barbie Mermaid so I went in with this MUA lipstick in bright pink. I can't actually remember its name, I will list it down below. So 
since I wanted the look to have a little bit more pizzazz, I went in with a very small brush, sprayed a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and added some silver glitter to the inner corner of my eye and threw on some amazing full drag lashes. I then wanted to add a little bit of kind of blue glitter on my body so I just did that over all of my contour points and then stuck on some sequins and nail art gems and then threw my wig on and that is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe and go check out Emily's video.